Good morning, everyone. Happy New Week. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, we're going to sing uh, some precious hymn this morning to praise our God. I think I have some in 59. Let us sing 59 first. 59. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. One to go. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Oh, salvation. Oh, born of his spirit. Washing his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praise my Savior, all that day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture, Boast on my side, and joy descending, great from above, echoes of mercy, we stay so long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. With his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praise my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praise my Savior, all the day long. Hallelujah. Let us sing 6.24, take my life and let it be. Want to go? Take 
my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Take my movement and my days, let them flow in the ceaseless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be shaped and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing always holy for my king. Take my lips and let me, and let them be filled with mercy from thee. Take my silver and my gold, not a met will I withhold. Take, take my intellect and use every power as I shall choose. Take my will and let it let, let take my will and make it that it shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thy own, it shall be thy royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour, at thy feet is treasure store. Take myself, and I will be ever only for all the hallelujah thank you jesus let us sing um eight eight one eight hundred and eighty one it's a new week we need to praise our king for bringing us to Another new day, another new week, another new hour. Lord, I lift your name on high. One to go. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you are in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high, Lord, I lift your name on high, Lord, I love to sing your praises, I'm so proud in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky.
Thank you, Lord, because there is no one like you, Jesus. You are the only God that can give life. You are the only God that can give second chance. You are the only God, oh Lord, that can make provisions. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you, Lord. We worship your Holy Spirit. My Lord, my God, as we are going into your word today, oh Lord, Jesus, take honor and take adoration this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to us, oh Lord and open our ears to hear your word, and the hearts to digest it, O oh Lord, and the spirit to obey your word. We don't want to be like that man that see himself or herself in a mirror, but by the time he go out from it, he's, he doesn't remember who he is again or how the face was. Father Lord Jesus, let us continue to walk uprightly with you, O oh Lord, the spirit to obey you fully, Jesus, be stolen from us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the heart to follow you, O oh Lord, and to do your will in Jesus' name. Father, I commit every soul into your labor right now, O oh Lord. Have your way in their life and touch every department of their life, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch our children, O oh Lord. Revive them in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, Holy Spirit. Come and walk with us this morning, O oh Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. To this morning we are going to the this uh, second part of the book of First John, chapter four. We are going to 
read from 7 to 21 this morning. And the topic is love as Christ loved. Love as Christ loved. Hallelujah. Reverend, can you read for us, please? First John chapter 4 from verse 7. First John 4. First John chapter 4, verse 7. Yes. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. Yes. And everyone who loves is born of God mm -hmm. and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Mm -hmm. In this, the love of God was manifest toward us, that God has set his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. In this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and set his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. We love. If God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Mm. Twelve, no one has seen God at any time. Yes. If we love one another, God abides in us. Hallelujah. And his love has been perfect in us. Mm. By this, we know that we abide in him. Yes. And he is in us yeah. because he has given us his spirits. Yeah. And we have the seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. Yeah. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, yeah. and he in God. Yeah. And we have known. And they believe that the love that God has for us, God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God and the God in him. Mm. Love has been perfect among mm. us yes. in this, mm. that we may have a boldness in the day of judgment. Amen. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. There is no fear in the love, mm. but perfect love casts out the fear. Mm. Because fear involves torment. Mm. But he who fear has no be made perfect in the love. Mm. We love him because he first loved us. Amen. If someone say, I love God, and the head is the brother, he is the liar. Mm. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God who he has not seen? Mm. And in this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that reading. Say love as Christ loved. That is the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say we should love one another. That is the message that we are also conveying to each and every one of us this morning. That we should love as Christ loved. Why should we love as Christ loved? Because we are his followers. Because he's in us and we are in him. So we are doing his uh we are doing according to the way he did things so he man he's mandating us this morning that we should love according to the way himself also loved john is telling us this morning that we should do that very same thing he said beloved let us love one another for love is of god for love is of God, 
and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. If you love somebody, you are born of God, meaning you know God. You are practicing what God also did, what God also practiced for us. That is why he sent his son to come and die for me and you. The book of uh, St. John tells us that John 3, 16, he said, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. He sent him to come and die for me and you to save us from our sin. There's no other love that can be greater than that. Hallelujah. He said, he that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. He's saying it again, repeating it, repeating it again. He said, anyone that does not love, that does not love, does not know God. You see some, some people, they want to kill you. They want to kill people. They want to destroy, they want to destroy human beings. Praise God. Because they did not know God. If they know God, they will have that sympathy or they will have that compassion. Because Jesus Christ has compassion on us, no matter what we did, and he is still having that compassion today. Hallelujah. He said, in this was in this was manifested the love of God towards us. Because God's because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. He came here to teach us love, to show us love, to practice love with us. That is Jesus Christ himself. So that we should also follow him. We should emulate or practice his character. Hallelujah. He said, herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sin, to be between our sin, to carry our sin, to be the person. Can you imagine, let us, let me just give you some example. It's like if we have, let me say, a child that is more than, I mean, we have children, more than one at all. Okay. The other one does something. But for you not to beat that very one that does it, the one that did not do it, we say, mommy or daddy, I am the one that did it. Whereas because of the love he has for the other one, he's feeling it that by the time you beat that child, either a boy or a girl, or you tear the child off, his or her own spirit will not be happy. He will not be happy for the situation. He knows very well that possibly you love him more than the other one because the other one always enter trouble, always do something that did not please you. This thing happened is some family too. We say, mommy, I am the one that do it. Whereas he's not the one. But later we go back to the to the person and say, please don't do this again. I'm not going to defend you again. Praise God. Jesus Christ came to take all our sins. For, for him to reconcile us to God. Because those times, I mean, those days in the Old Testament, anybody that commits sin, God remove him, him or her out from the way, or remove the whole family. We don't destroy them. We tell the ground to open out and swallow all of them. But this time, Jesus Christ has come between us and God the Father to reconcile us, to take our sin from, from us. He said, beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to love one another. Hallelujah. We knew very well that God loved us. So we also know I mean, we have to follow the same practice. Share it to other people. Share it to your neighbor. It's not only your wife or your husband. It's not only your children or your family. Share it to your neighbor, to your community, or even to your country. 
to the whole world, share that love. He said, no, uh, no man has seen God at any time. If we, if we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfect in us. We haven't seen God through faith and through his, uh, his, uh, his uh, word that we are reading. That is what, I mean, the Holy Spirit that is also in us. That is how we are following him. So anyone that is following him in that kind of, uh, uh, with a, a faithful heart, also, we're supposed to also practice what himself practice with us. What the type of love that he showed unto us. He said, hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us. Because he loved, sorry, because he had given us of his spirit. The Holy Spirit dwell in, in you, my brother, my sister. So as we are doing that, we have to, he's, he's, himself is in us. So he dwell in us. He's with us. He's also still guiding us. We have to follow that very first steps too. He said uh, in verse 14, and we have seen, sorry, and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Exactly. Anybody that call upon him today in any part of the world, no matter your color, no matter your race, no matter your tribe, no matter how short, how big, how thing you are. God answer Jesus Christ. Answer everybody. God answer everybody through Jesus Christ. He doesn't discriminate anyone that, that, that call upon him as we am. Also call up, I mean, exhorting him. He giving us the word to exhort us this morning. He's hearing us. Maybe millions of people have opened up this morning. To serve, to worship him for this for the morning devotion, in any other department at all, and he will answer everybody according to how he wanted it to be. Verse fifteen, he said, "Whosoever shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, dwelleth in him, and he in him." Sorry. And he and he in God. Uh, 16. And we have known, we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in the love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Hallelujah. Here in is our love made manifest. So when we relate our God, when, uh, sorry, our love, we extend it. The, there are some people that they don't even, they don't even love themselves. If, the, if you love yourself, why will you be doing something bad to yourself? How will you, I mean, you will try to, people try to commit suicide because they don't let, love themselves. People try to change the, their, their self, either even in, in cream, bleaching, because they don't like the color they, they have. Or they will say, oh, I am acting like a man when you are a woman. Or I am acting like a woman when you are a man. Then they will not go and change his or herself and say, I want to be this, because he doesn't look, love his or herself. If you love yourself, when you wake up in the morning, you have to even thank God and say, oh Lord, I thank you for even waking me up this morning. Trans transgender, gay, lesbian, God did not create that. Those things have been a, a, a sort of destruction to people's life from the beginning. If you read the book of Leviticus, everything is there. People sleeping with animals, Everything is there. Sodom and Gomorrah, what destroyed them? 
Hallelujah. Verse, uh, I take that verse 17 again. He said, herein is our love made manifest that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Hallelujah. When you love one another, when you love yourself, you love everybody around you. It's another. It's, a, it's, it's also a credit to us. It's also a credit to that very person. That, so I mean, during on that very judgment day, God will ask us all these things. Did we practice what He said we should practice? He said we should give food to those that are in need. Or he even mentioned it in the book of Matthew. He said, oh, by the time you do so, so, so thing to somebody, you are doing it to him. People ask, he said, oh, you did not come to the prison to see me. Jesus Christ was saying it. You, when he was sick, you did not give him, you did not uh, have compassion on him or to come and see him in the hospital or to come and visit him. Or when he was hungry, you did not give him food. When he was tasty, you didn't give him water. People were now asking. I said, when did we see you all this time happening? He said, but by the time you do it to any of the brethren, anyone that loves God, that is created of God, by the time you do it, that is the work of charity. By the time you, you, you did such a thing to that very person, you are doing it to him because of the love. Hallelujah. He said, there is no fear in love, but perfect love uh, casted out fear because fear had torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Exactly. Fear brings torment. When you see something now, even in the night, you just dream some kind of horrible dream we bring fear to you. You will be afraid throughout the day. If case not taken, if you did not commit that very uh, uh, dream to the hands of God, somebody will be afraid throughout. Or some shocking things. You are you are on the street now, you just see something hap happen. You will be afraid. Like uh, about three, four days ago, they sent a clip to me from India. What happened in, uh, what happened in, uh, in China? As I saw it, a group of people, maybe about five of them, they were trying to rescue somebody. I don't know whether it was a, it was a man or a woman. From a pit, the, the, the flood was already taking the person away. These people were trying to take, to rescue the person from that very pit. But before you know it, my brother, my sister, about four or five of them, the, the, the laughs just break and all of them went. As I saw it, I, it just gripped me. I was afraid. So fear brings torment. Fear torment people. People use fear to torment you. Somebody can even boast, whereas he cannot do anything. He can even be boasting and say, this is what he or she is going to do to you. They will not succeed in Jesus' name. They will be boasting like that. But you that, you don't have that kind of uh, mind to do bad thing to somebody you will be afraid of some of that very person and that thing they will be using it to torment people what did goliath did goliath did to the children of israel all of them were afraid but when the right person came david himself when he came he had the spirit of god in him he faced the goliath it doesn't even take him time he killed Goliath. Only one stone that he thrown. He still have four left with him. Have more power left with him. But he just shoot only one. And that was the one that killed the Goliath. So fear brings torment, my brother, my sisters. Uh, verse 19 says, we love him because he first loved us. Exactly. Because he showed us love. That is why we love him. Hallelujah. He said, if any man say, this is very, very, very uh, important. If any man say, I love God and hated his brother, 
he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? We are not seeing God. We are seeing people around us. You see your wives, you see your husband, you see your children, you see your neighbors, you see your brothers, you see everyone around you. But you do not love them. But how can we say, he said, how can we say that we love God when we are not our colleagues in the place of work or in our place of work? We don't love them. But how can we say we love God? Amen. The last verse says, and this commandment have we from him that he who had who had loved God love his brother also. Anyone that loves the commandment is also a commandment that we should love God and love everyone around us. He said, anyone that loves God also love his brother, love his sisters, love his neighbor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to pray this morning. I say, Lord, thank you once again for giving us another new day. Let us start with that in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you. Today, oh Lord, I thank you for giving us another new day. We bless your holy Father for everything that you have done. You have spoken to us once again, oh Lord, that we should love as you love. Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you for giving us, for waking us up this morning. Even the time we wake up, there are some that are already going to the mortuary. There are some that ambulance are already on their door. There are some that cannot even wake up. Let us now continue to thank God for that purpose. I say, Lord, I thank you for giving me another chance today. This week, this hour, this month, Father, I thank you. We still have some days left for this month of July. God is the one that is protecting us. You went out yesterday. You came out safely. There are some people that have gone out now. They have, I mean, we are not rejoicing over them that they got accident. But you went out, you came back safely. Let us thank God, my brother, my sister. Father Lord Jesus, we thank you for this purpose, oh Lord. You brought, you, we went out and you brought us in again. Even we are in our house, you did not allow anything to happen to us. Father, we thank you. I bless your holy Lord for the life of every soul under the sound of my voice, Lord. Jesus, we just thank you for that family, for that great uh, 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 family that you have given to each and everyone. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy Lord. For those children, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray and say, Lord, give me the mind to love more than the way I love now. Because love is, is of God. It's not of the devil. Devil doesn't love. If he loves, he will not be jealous of your of your career. If the devil loves anybody, he will not be making an attempt to kill that person because his purpose is to kill, to, to destroy, and to steal from that very person. Let us now pray and say, Lord, give me the mind, Lord, to love more than the way I am loving now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, give me the mind, O oh Lord. To give, my, give me that mind of compassion to have compassion when I see somebody, Father Lord Jesus, give me the mind to love more, O oh Lord. Give us the mind, even everyone on the line right now, Lord. Jesus, give them the mind, Lord. Even those that are going to listen later, Father Lord, give them the mind to love more than the way they have loved now. Because yourself is love in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, give us the mind, O oh Lord, to love more than the way we are loving now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the mind. There are some people they don't love themselves, they don't love their wife, or they don't love their husband, or they don't even love their children. If they love their children, how, why would they be doing bad things to them? That is another area. Why, if, if really they love their children, why would they block their children's sources? Why would they block their children from having children? There are men and women that are doing that. My brother, my sister, we are not part of it. Let us still pray and say, Lord, Give me the mind to love more than the way I am loving now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, give me the mind, O oh Lord, to love 
more than the way I am loving anybody in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that might be in me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that might be in me, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, Holy Spirit. I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If we see exactly, we are all seeing it every day, either through telephone, we are hearing it from people or from neighbors, or through the through television, we are seeing it. I called somebody yesterday. We have lived together for about, uh, I mean, maybe about a year. But the brother was even shocked yesterday that I called and say I'm asking of her. Though she, what she did to me, but I have forgotten. But it was since about three days was just coming to me to call, to ask, how is she? So I look for the number. They were even shocked. That is how God said we should do things. I said, is, the brother said, oh, is there anything happening? I said, no, nothing happened. With the position of the whole world now, what is happening in the whole world? If you know anybody, you call that person, you ask, how is she, he or she doing? They were shocked. That is how God wants us to extend that kind of uh, relation to everybody. Hallelujah. So we are going to also pray and say, Lord, the power to do it more. We need that power. We may be thinking, or people may be even be, ah, why do you love this person like this? There are some people that will even be telling you that. Why do you love this person? And uh, you are measuring this person every time. You are calling this person every time. Why? It's because of the spirit of God that is in you. That is why you are doing it. So let us pray and say, Lord, Remove every stumbling block out from my way. Those things that will make me to hate people. Father, Lord, remove it out from me. Let us now pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit, remove every stumbling block that is on my way, O oh Lord. Those stumbling blocks that will make me not to love anybody that I see, O oh Lord. Jesus, if you did not love any, if you did not love that person, how can you tell that person that Jesus Christ is Lord? Father, Lord Jesus, give us the power, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, remove hatred out from us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, remove hatred from us, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remove hatred from any man or any woman that are on the line now, Lord Jesus. Remove hatred out from us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, remove hatred out from our mind, oh Lord. Cleanse us, oh Lord, because that is the reason why you came to come and die for me and die for the whole world, die for everybody. Lord Jesus, remove hatred out from us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray to commit this week into the hands of God. Because the devil matter, the, 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 the strategy they used yesterday or last week, that is not the strategy they want to use. Because they failed last week, they will try to look for other plan B. We are going to pray and say, Lord Jesus, we commit our family. We dedicate everyone, it, dedicate yourself, dedicate your career, your husband, your wife, dedicate even the children, dedicate even your neighbor to the house of God and say, Lord, I don't want to hear bad news about everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I commit every soul into your able hand, O oh Lord. I commit our children, I commit my wife, I commit the husband, I commit them into the house of God, that God should protect each and every one of us this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, we commit everyone into your able hand, O oh Lord. As many as those family that are on the line now, even those that are going to listen later, Father, I commit them into your able hand. Jesus, Holy Spirit, guide and protect us, O oh Lord. Every danger, remove it out from our way. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove every danger out from us, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, every premature death, we cancel it this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. Premature death is not our portion, Lord. Father, we cancel that premature death this week, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Protect and guide us, O oh Lord, throughout this week. Those that are traveling, those that are doing working from home, those that are doing anything, Father, Lord Jesus, even the children that are on holiday, Father, we commit them into your able hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever they are doing into, in their rooms, O oh Lord, Father, Lord Jesus, <coughs> speak to them in the mighty name of Jesus, retrieve them from every danger that the enemy uh, want to that the enemy want to impose into their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
in, remove them from danger, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As they are holiday, O oh Lord, Jesus, let your spirit enter our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the spirit of God, that spirit of love, Father, let it enter there. Remove hatred out from there, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray and say, Lord, anything that I do from now on, Lord Jesus, Father, let it be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. That is to say, ask God to bless the work of your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. He is our Father. Tell him to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, because you are our Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, bless us this week, O oh Lord. Bless the work of our hand. Bless Global Light Apostolic Ministries. We have many things. We have good vision in this very temple, O oh Lord. Father, bless this temple. Bless our family. Bless our children. This week, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless us, O oh Lord. As we are touching the life of, of others, O oh Lord, Father, touch our own life too, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us, O oh Lord. This week, Father, bless us, O oh Lord. Let us receive all our blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We still have some days for this week or, or for this month before you expire. We are going to pray right now, say, Lord, any of my provision, any of my goodness, any of my blessings that I have, I supposed to receive in this month of July that I haven't received. Father, by your power and authority, open the door for me to receive them. Continue to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If it is healing, if it is breakthrough, whatever you are looking for, just ask God to bless you because he's your father in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Jesus, you are my heavenly father, O oh Lord. You are the God that created me, O oh Lord. Jesus, my Lord, my God. Those things that we're supposed to receive, O oh Lord. Those things that i supposed to receive. The blessing that will shock even the whole world that i supposed to receive. The good news that will shock my family that i supposed to receive. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus. This very month of July, Father, before it expire, Lord Jesus, my Lord God, open the door for me to receive it, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, open the door. Remove every crooked way. Ask God to remove those stubborn blocks that is disturbing you not to remove those, not to receive those things. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, remove those stubborn blocks out from my way today, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, those stubborn blocks that are, that are standing or covering me not to receive what I'm supposed to receive in this month of July. Those good news that I'm supposed to receive. Those good news that are, those families are supposed to receive. Those good news of the cancellation of barrenness. Father Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, give it to them, O Lord. Let them receive it by your power and authority. The breakthrough we are looking for in Global Light Apostolic Ministries, in Glen Gospel Radio, Lord Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, grant us that breakthrough, O Lord. For this remain between now and Saturday, O Lord, Jesus, give us that breakthrough. Let us hear good news in this very temple because you have done a lot for this for us this month, O Lord. Father, there are still more that you have to do in the mighty name of Jesus. The good testimony that have come, Father Lord Jesus, there are still more that you have to do for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the door right now. Open the door for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord. Above all, Lord Jesus, let your will be done. Not our will. Let your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us now continue to soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, I soak ourselves, O oh Lord, I soak everyone in your blood right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, anywhere we go, let your blood cover us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your blood cover all our guardians. Let your blood cover all our children, wherever they are, O oh Lord. Jesus, let your blood cover those family right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they may be right now, Lord Jesus, hearing us, Lord. Father, let your blood cover them, in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak every soul in the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Father, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. My brothers and sisters, remember that uh, the last three days of the month, we always uh, fast. That is 29, 30th, and 31. Thank you, sir. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, the, the, the Friday, sorry, the Thursday, we are going to pray from, uh, use the um, social media to, to pray that day, seven o'clock and six o'clock. 
Then Friday, we are going to the May auditorium where we use for our church service. And on Saturday, we're also going to pray through the social media. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for tuning in.